everyone. Hey guys. And welcome to a love fueled episode of Massey Art Studios. Studios. If you've been following the train that started this morning at 11 o'clock with Lisa Marvin, yep. you will have expected us here at our very unusual time today. But there are 20 plus artists mm -hmm. pouring in a collaboration train yeah. in aid of a wonderful sanctuary called Where Pigs Fly Farm Sanctuary. All of our pieces today are all going to be auctioned off mm -hmm. and you can follow the link in our description box if you haven't already registered to be able to bid on any one of the wonderful pieces of art that you see today Yes. with all the proceeds going to that sanctuary. And they have over 200 animals where they kind of look after abandoned and yeah. abused and all wonderful things. Our animals are very close to our heart. They are. They are indeed. So, the show pony and I collaborated on this piece. Um, it's been a lot of fun. It has been. It's a blob, um, and I'm sure you've seen pictures of it around, maybe even the thumbnail. But we'll get to the table. This has taken a week and a bit in, in actual yeah. making. Yeah. And we're going to voice over, so we'll kind of explain our process as we go through it. We've got TLPs all the way through this piece. Mm -hmm. And we're using the show pony's colour, show pony, as well. <laughs> so, we'll keep an eye out for that. Um, this is all about love and Valentine's Day is coming up. So we want to say we love you all. Thank you we so do. very much for being here. I love you. I sir. love you. I love you. And I love you. <laughs> and, and let's get to it. Without much further ado, let's get blobbing. Let's get blobbing. But first, the recipe. All right, ladles and jelly spoons. Let's get mixing some TLPs into a consistency that you can blob with them. Now, I've done this once before on a previous TLP blob, but I'm gonna show you how I did it again just one more time. So here I've got a set of kitchen scales because I am gonna weigh out these ingredients. Um, it's particularly important to weigh them out for this technique because you need a certain consistency, one that's gonna hold its shape in a blob and not be too kind of runny as you pipe it out of the wonderful Fluid Art Co bottles that I'm using here. Those can be obtained on fluid-art.co. So first things first, what I need to do is I need to get these piggies, in this instance, it's the show pony, into a consistency that matches acrylic paint. So I'm gonna take my Saks True Flow acrylic gel medium here, and I'm gonna put four ounces of it into this plastic cup that's sitting right here on top of my weighing scales. Now I'm putting four ounces because this is gonna make a total of 16 ounces worth of product that I'm gonna put in this bottle right here. It's gonna be four ounces of the TLP mixed with the True Flow Acrylic Gel Medium. And then it's gonna be four ounces of the gloss varnish and then eight ounces of the Mod Podge. If you're just using acrylic paints, you'll do four ounces of paint, four ounces of varnish, eight ounces of Mod Podge. So for every two ounces of the true flow, you need the end of a spatula of TLPs. Now it is not an exact science, but I think that that is about half a teaspoon. Um, so there's about a teaspoon worth of, pr of product in there. I'm wearing a mask as you should do whenever you handle any of these pigments. And now I'm going to just mix this into the true flow. What I find doing it this way is that it's easier to mix the TLP into the true flow. It doesn't kind of flow everywhere. It doesn't go all over the place. It's an awful lot easier to do it this way rather than mixing it into the Mod Podge or mixing it into the varnish. This is just my preferred way of doing it. Plus then mixing these products in a certain way kind of makes them super easy to mix as well. So I'll show you my preferred way of doing it. Now, I could take the varnish and mix that into this directly, but I prefer to put the Mod Podge in first. So then you've got what I'll have in here will be 12 ounces with the product and then I'll mix the varnish in. So there is my mixed in piggies and true flow. I'm gonna mix this in so that I make sure that everything is dispersed properly and that all of that product is mixed within that medium. Now you will notice that this is not the same color as the TLP in the bottle, but do not worry because all of the products that we're using here will dry completely clear. And then all you'll be left with is that wonderful, wonderful pigment. 
So next, what we're gonna do is mix in our old Mod Podge. So we've still got there four ounces worth, just over four ounces with the product. So now I'm gonna add eight to take this up to 12. Now let's get in the four ounces of gloss varnish. Now this is gloss varnish, not gloss medium or pouring medium, but actually gloss varnish. And that will take this up to 16 ounces. Now, when you mix these two products, you're gonna think they look nothing like these two products here in the actual jar. You're just gonna have to trust me on this one. And I'll show you clearly as I blob these onto my canvas, you'll see within 24 hours when this blob dries, it will return to this wonderful, shiny beautifulness that you'll see in the pots right here. Promise you, bear with me. Let's get to mixing those other two acrylics and then we'll get blobbing. Well, 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 look at that beautiful heart, <laughs> show pony. Well, thank you. What in the heck did you do to it? How does it look so amazing? Well, um, not to sound pompous. Okay. But right. I used TLP's pompous and resin on this heart. I painted it black first. Okay. And then I got that pompous and I mixed it up with the resin. Okay. And I spread it over evenly over the entire uh, heart. And it's stunning. Thank you. The pompous is one of the color shifts. It is, it's it, the color shift. And you can actually even just see it laying here like flat. Yeah. It goes from red to black. Yeah. And, and so when you get it in the daylight, it just is crazy cool. It's yes. really awesome. It has this chocolatey effect. Oh, hello, yes it does. <laughs> it's like cherry chocolate. It is. Indeed it is. A bit of foreshadowing there for something that's going to be coming a little bit later. Um, I, you did a, such a beautiful job of this of this resin work. Um, it was super smooth. It was beautifully applied. I really, I could have just left it like that, to be honest Aww. with you. Yeah, I thought it was really stunning. Yeah, just but, a little heat to make the air bubbles pop. pop. those bubbles. <laughs> but we didn't just leave it like that. No, we did not. We absolutely then started blobbing. Now, it is fair to say, show pony, if I may say this, that you asked me to do the blobs. Yes. Um, why? Because you're blobtastic. <laughs> you know exactly how when to I, do the blobs. When I asked you that question, I realized that I wasn't trying to set you up to say, well, it's because you're amazing at them but it was it, what I meant to say what I thought you were gonna say was because because I've done so many of them you have done so yeah, many of them I absolutely have I loved the blob piece that you did which was an Arteza Thank blob you. color uh, color palette it was fantastic uh, but I really really am obsessed with these blobs so thank you for asking me to do it because I really enjoyed it now what you can see here is our first layer yes. now I just mixed this up on camera and it was the Syrah Syrah yeah but look at it it looks grey. It does. It looks, it looks mauve. Mauve. <laughs> it looks vile, is, is what I would say. But what I'm going to ask you all to do is to absolutely bear with us, because one of the things that you'll notice with any colour that you use, even the acrylic colours, the colour that's in the tube that you're going to blob onto your substrate will not be identical to what it is that you're exactly. trying to do. Exactly. And the reason for that is your Mod Podge is milky. In this case, the Sax True Flow is milky, but they all dry clear. Mm -hmm. So this, within 24 hours, these blobs will absolutely just look like blobs of Syrah. And you don't have to take my word for it. What? Because Are we're we going to see it. Because we will absolutely <laughs> see it. Because, because you'll see it in a, in a, in a little minute. Um, what I'm doing here is taking my Fluid Art Co bottles and just squeezing out blobs onto this beautifully resined heart of the show ponies. And this is going to be our first layer, first of four. Yes. And we'll talk you through a little bit of each and every one of them. But I wanted the 
the actual blobs to kind of all be the same size. I wasn't looking for random sizes in this one. I wasn't gonna do, you know, lots and lots of different types and sizes of, of blobs. I wanted everything to look the same because I kind of was going for a little box of chocolates kind of effect. Aw. You know, like those old school, yes. you know, like 1950s. Cordial cherries. Like, exactly, going to the prom. Here's my heart-shaped box of chocolates for you. Um, so I hope that's kind of what you'll see as we go through this. But I've really enjoyed blobbing this Syrah on the canvas. Let me get to this first and then we'll see you in just a short second. next is is that you're gonna see us torch these blobs yeah and that's just to get the bubbles out and even though it is mixed with the piggy recipe right um, you still can use a torch on it just don't sit there and flambe <laughs> this you know. is not smalls <laughs> that we're making right Gervonne? exactly yeah we're not making exactly. meringue <laughs> we're not so we're not setting a brulee on fire yeah, absolutely <laughs> not no but you do have to use a torch to pop those bubbles you do and even though the base is already resined I'm not heating up the resin in any way I didn't spoil the resin work at any point you can see just how vigorously I'm and this is all real time this has not been sped up in any way just popping those bubbles across yeah. the top of the canvas and if you can see at the very back a little behind the heart a little prototype there product that I'm testing oh, yeah. say no more but it's in the works it's a blob paint stand because what you really want to do with your paint bottles is keep them upside down in order to let the air get into the top of the paints rather than where you're squeezing them out. Yeah. And I love that thing. Oh Whoa. my God. Did you see that? I saw that. It was like as if by magic, that is 24 hours later. I love, love Syrah. And that is such a beautiful like, way to show it go from whenever it's wet like that out of the bottle right. and it looks that grayish mauve totally gray. color yeah um to it dry right here and it's that beautiful luscious like purpley maroony you know, maroony yeah deep dark cherry deep dark cherry i yeah. like that yeah it was really stunning and they look like little like shiny metallic discs Yes. You know, because they've got that beautiful kind of shimmer and shine on each and every one. I loved that transition from the wet to the dry there. Oh, yeah. And again, this is just 24 hours later. So every single layer just takes 24 hours to dry because the blobs are all really small. Just 24 hours? Just 24 hours. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get on to blobbing. Now, this is an Amsterdam paint, mm -hmm. which I did purchase from okay. fluid-art.co. Okay. Alongside my bottles, as you'll see. And um, this is an acrylic paint that's mixed to the same recipe. So it's 50% Mod Podge, 25% paint, 25% percent gloss varnish and that gives me this blobbing consistency Got and it. I'm just going to get this second layer on top of that first layer of piggies. Nice.
Oh yeah, and Lee, you forgot to tell everybody what color this is. Thank you, Show Pony, for picking up my <laughs> failures and faults. You <laughs> are quite right. What color is it, pray tell? It's actually Light Rose by Amsterdam. It is Light Rose, keeping with that whole love box of chocolates, roses yes. themes. In yes. England, we had a box of chocolates that was called Roses. Oh, really? Yeah, and it had all like an assortment of, of chockies in it. But uh, yes, it was Light Rose, a really, really interesting color. I love this one. Yeah, I do too. I love this color, mate. So not a huge colour shift there from the wet light rose to the dry light yes. rose because it is actually a really really light colour but this is now another 24 hours later and it's absolutely dry. Now this is the third layer, yes. another acrylic paint okay. because I'm going to finish this one off with a TLP mix okay. which we've already told everyone is actually. It's so funny. It's so funny. <laughs> well we couldn't do a love collaboration without including our love which is the show pony pigment because we love the fact that the TLP gals named a show pony. I know, I couldn't have to be more like surprised and shocked. Surprised and happy. If anyone wants to see boy. a sniveling show pony, just go back and watch the episode where we revealed the color because he was a little teary eyed. Um, <laughs> but yes, mixed in exactly the same way as the light rose. This is cap at Morton Violet. Yes. Yeah, I didn't want to go for traditional kind of pink, pink, pink all the way through this. This is a really lovely, again, deep, dark, maroony pink yeah yeah what how would you describe that color um i would definitely it's kind of like a grape Ooh. like okay this, yeah yeah i absolutely see that as well like a red grape yeah hmm, interesting i see it but i do love it so this is the third layer now so this is day three of blobbing yeah plus a day and a half two days three days for you to resin, resin. so these mm -hmm. things are a labor of love but you get a really really fun technique from these yes absolutely anything you want to talk about in terms of hints and tips as we're going through this just make sure you nail the center <laughs> of the floor. <laughs> Absolutely. I can't tell you, I was sweating and my hands were shaking, although you can't really see it. Yeah, I was being so careful to to, to, to put the blob on each center of the previous yes. layer. And I'm also being really careful not to squeeze out too much paint. You will get to 
be real good at this the more that you do. The more practice that you have at blobbing, the better you get at it. You kind of get to know the consistency and just how much it's gonna spread. I mean, you were definitely like, Jeremy, I can hear you breathing. I know. <laughs> Don't can talk we keep to me. It quiet? <laughs> Don't talk to me. I absolutely was. Yeah. I think I even said to you, "Don't talk to me" for at least once while you're going through this. But I do love these blobs. So that's the Caput Mortem Violet now, which is our third layer in this blob. Mm. And just as a quick reminder for anyone that's just joined us, you can bid on this piece and win it in an auction with all the proceeds being given to the Pigs Can Fly. Oh my goodness, what was it called? Yeah, the Pigs Can Fly. Yeah, a farm sanctuary. I'm sure I've got that wrong actually because I just said it and forgot it. But it's in the description box. So where pigs go to fly or something like that. It's a pig sanctuary. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. And it's going to uh, benefit a, a wonderful sanctuary that looks after abused and abandoned and unloved piggies and animals. It breaks my heart that anybody could be mean to, to animals that are just there to love, you know? Animals just love you and unconditionally. And they do. it just, it breaks my heart that anybody that can lift a finger to to an animal. Yeah, I totally agree. Yeah, it, yes, 100% sure, pony. So let's all get our hands in our wallets where we can. Yes. Uh, I don't want anyone spending their rent money or their mortgage money or their bill money, but or if you grocery money. or grocery money, if you have some money to spare and you would like some fabulous art, then this piece is available. Now this has had a lot of names. We've it caught, has. we have. Uh, Jeremy thinks that these look like cordial cherries. Yes, it reminds me of cordial cherries. And I was going to call it love with a cherry on top. Yes. Um, it looks like a box of chocolate. So you you see in this whatever you want to see. Yes. Um, but I've loved this thoroughly. We're almost at the end of this. This was the final layer of show pony blobs. Yes. So much fun. Thank you again, TLP guys, for asking us to be part of this. Stick around. We're going to show you the completely dry results in just one second. If we are. So there you have it, folks. There you have it. There you have it. Where Pigs Fly. Yes. That's the name of the sanctuary that yes. I couldn't remember in the voiceover. Oh my goodness. Where Pigs Fly Farm Sanctuary. Yes. Thank you guys for watching and hopefully loving that piece. Your pony, would you like to show them the finish? I would like to show them the finish. Oh my This goodness. is the finished result. I have to hold it at an angle because Shing! There's some bling on there when you move it. Right. That resin just like lights it up. It's crazy cool. Yeah. Yeah, I really love this. I'm gonna step out just so I don't mess up with the the autofocus. Um yeah, look but at the so cool. height of the blobs, all those little cordial cherries that Jeremy yeah. says that are on here. Some of them topped off with a little bit of show pony, some of them not. I think they look like little English petty fours, little desserts. Oh, they do. They look good enough to eat. And yeah. <laughs> so I'm gonna buy that piece. Don't need some show pony teeth marks in it. Those gnashes. Please, 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 if you haven't already, go back and check out Lisa Marvin, who started us off at 11 o'clock central today. And then yes. there's 21 or 22 other artists running all the way up to Shelley Art. Yes. Uh, the wonderful Shelley Carruthers. And she's going to finish us off, I think, around about 11, 11.30 central time. Because clearly got multiple time zones to be thinking about here. Yes. So you got almost 12 hours worth of, of paint pouring today with some fantastic names of which we are truly honored to be a part of. Thank you to Billy and to Shelley and the TLP team for inviting us to be here. Yes. Please, please, please go check out all the art. Go register if you've got some extra cash. This could be winging its way to you. And uh, with all those proceeds going to charity. Yes. We will be back on Valentine's Day for some more love. Um, it's Tuesday. It's our general a day for episodes. So we'll see you back here and then. Um, thank you again, everyone. I hope you've enjoyed the love today and hope you feel the love. Happy Super Bowl Sunday to everyone. It's a lot of love. It is a lot of love. <laughs> and we'll see you back here on Tuesday. Okay, guys. All have right. a good one. Have a great day. Bye. Bye.